All right, we're going to go over Bluetooth pairing the Apex 6000 to our MSA air pack. So each engine as each seat assignment has a radio assigned to it and its associated seat has the air pack that it's married to. So one radio per air pack. They're not universal, so you make sure on the beginning of your shift your radio matches your seat assignment for the day. Station one is the same way. Uh, however, the difference between station one and two, the driver at station one, their air pack is the first air pack on the high side compartment on the engine and on the ladder. Uh, the officer is obviously the officer seat and then seat three is seat three seat assignment. So again, if you're working station one, make sure you have the uh, correct air pack. Um, to do this, uh, very simple. First thing you gotta do is turn on your radio. So you gotta make sure the radio is on first. So that'll come through. No, one, seven, fire, 64, D. And it doesn't matter whatever talk group or channel you're on, it'll still work. You just have to have the radio on first. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is turn on the air pack. So turn it on and power it up. Just to see the bottle. It'll power everything on. It'll do its self-test. We'll hear the radio do an escalating uh, tone up and then down. That's the radio testing the Bluetooth with the air pack. So it's going to test it. It'll turn it on and then I'll turn it off. There's the on. Now it's off. Once you hear that tone, you know you're good to go. So we can start using the uh, air pack and the radio. So this only works when you're connected to air and breathing. So if we're at a fire alarm or something like that, we're wearing the air pack around and we need to talk. It's just regular talk over the, the extended mic. Just, all right, yeah, we're okay. And we go from there. Once we're going to talk through the Bluetooth is when we're inside of a fire or we're breathing air. So to do that, obviously we're going to have to have our face piece on. Once you get the face piece on, it'll connect to the radio. You'll hear that tone again. It takes about five to ten seconds for that to happen. And then uh, you can talk. So to talk on this, you push the push to talk button. You talk normally, calmly, quietly inside your face piece. There's no need to yell. There's no need to scream or anything. There are microphones built into your face piece. You just talk normally and it gets transmitted through the radio waves. Uh, these radios have excellent filters on them, so with the pass device going off in the background, that will filter all that out. So just because your pass is going off doesn't mean you need to increase the, the volume of your voice. So we'll uh, demonstrate this real quick. I'll get my face piece on. Plug in there. To disconnect, you just stop breathing air. So we'll remove our regulator. You have our tone go off. Now we're disconnected. So now we're disconnected from the radio. So our tone goes off, we're outside, switching bottles, rehab, whatever. You need to talk on the radio again. Yep, I'm okay. okay. You can talk just like that. Um, some other things to think about when you're working. All right, for people that work at station one, uh, some little caveats to this. The radios, they can be paired to more than one air pack. However, it only remembers the last air pack it was paired to. So if you're working station one as the officer or the driver, uh, they are primarily paired to the engine. It's going to be the truck that goes out the door the most on fires. So it's going to be primarily set to those air packs. Uh, if you want to set it to the ladder, a couple extra steps. So you're going to have to turn the radio on first, turn the air pack on, and you have to look at your radio and it'll say, do you want to pair with this air pack? You hit the corresponding soft key, you'll hear the tone uh, turn on and off to disconnect and uh, to connect and disconnect from the Bluetooth, and then you're ready to go. So you can sh shut the air pack off, turn your radio off, and you're good to go until you get to the scene. So that's going to be something that you choose to do uh, before you get in the truck on your way to the scene. 
at the scene, but it's an extra step you're going to have to do. Just remember, when you get back, you're going to have to do the same thing with the engine to repair that to the engine to be its primary um, source for the radio. So these are going to be set up for just uh, two air packs at station one. There's only one air pack down here at station two. And you're just going to, you know, there's no need to do that process at station two because it's only on one air pack. Uh, some other things to think about, if you move the SCBA brackets for any reason, one goes out of service, it's damaged, uh, whatever, uh, let me know right now and I can pair the radio to the new bracket uh, eventually down the road when we get some more tags. It'll be something that you guys can do on your own. We'll do another video, I'm sure, to show you how to do that. Uh, other than that, try it out. Train with it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know or uh, somebody know that knows how to do it. We'll go from there. Thanks.